A bill that would enact stricter gun laws in the state is being authored by DFL representative Jamie Becker Finn, and it's getting a lot of attention at the Capitol. Several county sheriffs and legislators from Lakeland country have spoken out against the proposal. Hanky Hazelton takes a closer look. The goal here is to keep more people safe um, from what we now contemplate as accidents. Representative Jamie Becker Finn is directing attention to House File 396 that says, for this purpose, reasonable action requires a firearm to be stored unloaded with a locking device and separately from its ammunition. This has sparked a number of conversations among county sheriffs and concerned Republicans. Concern me about the, you know, government basically intruding into people's private uh, private residences and uh, I mean that's the only way there's no other way to enforce the law than to be going into people's houses and verifying if their weapons are all locked up. What this does it takes away the the gun owner's right to know that there's even a process going on until they knock on his door and take the guns and then he has to prove his innocence to be able to get his gun back and it's backwards from what our laws and our constitution says. Area legislators held a town hall meeting at the Bemidji Eagles Club last weekend to express their opposition to the bill. It's overreached by the by the state government. People feel want to feel safe and secure in their own homes uh, and this is just stepping over the bounds and our, our local folks uh, you could tell today the passion was there and they're they're not happy with this. And Sheriff Halverson says criminals do not always follow the law. They're not going to make sure their weapons are all locked up and secured. But if one of them broke into your house and you had to have your weapons secured in the safe, um, you know, there's not the time to call a timeout and go to your safe and, and open it up and get your gun out. If you are in your home and the weapon is under your control, Representative Becker Finn says this law doesn't apply to you. This is contemplating primarily when you aren't home or when you aren't in the same room, ways to make sure that that weapon isn't accessible and, and unsafe. The Crow Wing County Sheriff says there are already existing laws that help with this issue. 609.666 is negligence uh, uh, storage of a firearm that they could re revert back to. So we don't need new laws. We can use the ones that we have existing, and that's one of them that we could uh, use. Representative Matt Bliss and Senator Steve Green are telling their constituents to oppose House File 396 by contacting elected officials. Our government is a uh, by the people, for the people, and of the people, and we now need the people to step up and let the governor know, let the attorney general know their thoughts and uh, feelings on these gun laws. I would say get involved. Just discuss these things, and, and during the time when these bills are coming up for hearings, come down to St. Paul and voice their opinion. Representative Jamie Becker Finn said our criminal statutes is how we communicate to the public on how we determine what kind of behavior is acceptable if we want to move forward and have a safer society for all. By um, lifting this up, by having it on the news, by talking about this legislation, um, that folks will be more aware of what appropriate way of storing, um, storing your guns is so that we don't run into a situation where accidents, but they're completely preventable and it's due to the behavior of adults who aren't um, being careful. Hanky Hazelton, Lakeland News. Representative Becker Finn says she's open to any feedback. She says her focus right now is to continue working on an amendment that makes this bill better and safer for all Minnesotans. Lakeland News is member supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.